rainfall that we've seen this past spring and summer has been great for cotton crops, with growers expecting better yields than compared to the last two years. But for some reason, the price of cotton is still very low. KLBK's Maddie Powers spent the day trying to find out why for us. Maddie. Well, the prices for cotton are the lowest they have been in the past year, and it's affecting growers here on the South Plains. One cotton farmer, Rex Kennedy from South Lubbock, says it takes a toll on all producers. It is particularly worrisome for the future. Rex Kennedy grows cotton on his farm, and with its current price at 67 cents per pound, Kennedy is working to cut costs where he can. If we can spread those costs out, over more acres. We really don't have a lot of say in what the market is going to pay us. Uh, that's all about supply and demand. The highest price in the past year was at 98 cents per pound, according to Market Insider. But Kennedy has his own thoughts on what the prices should be. At production cost, cotton needs to be between 130 and 150 to be able to make this cash flow year in, year out. Kara Bishop with Plains Cotton Growers Incorporated says prices have stayed consistently between 65 and 75 cents for almost the last 30 years, but agrees with Kennedy. They need to be much higher. Um, but right now the market price is devastating for anybody trying to make it. Like I said, 85 cents is the break even price when you're, you know, 15 cents below that, 10 cents below that. It's the math is not mathing for farmers anymore. And Bishop says the future of cotton is hard to predict. There, it's not looking like in the future we're going to have this huge jump in the market. Um, it may go back down and then come back up. We don't know. Um, it's very volatile and has been for the past two years. Maddie Powers, KLBK News.